Well, UECT's Ashley Kazakowski has been following this story. She joins us now live with more on that. Ashley? Well, it comes down to this. These fish, which travel in large schools, essentially made a wrong turn, and a deadly turn it was. Now, this is brand new video from the shore of Masonboro Island, shot from a boat. And you can see lots of dead fish, and later in this video, some birds that are feasting on them. Now, I talked to Stephanie Garrett with the State Department of Environmental and Natu Natural Resources about what happened. She says the fish went up Lucens Creek. That's where coastal management has a monitor that tracks oxygen levels and water temperature. Garrett says the monitor shows the fish used up all the oxygen and it suffocated them in less than an hour. Now, it's rare for the environmental experts to have this kind of information and to know exactly when a fish kill happened and the exact cause. You want to make sure it's not, you know, an algae or something that could be a concern for human health. Um, and a lot of times you don't know what caused it. Being able to look at what the physical environment was actually doing during that time, you could see that they ran out of oxygen. Now, Garrett says it's rare to see a fish kill this large, but she wants you to know there's no risk to public health. Now, apparently, you can smell those decomposing fish from about a mile away, and there are birds feasting on their remains. So if you're planning on boating or paddling out to Masonboro Island this weekend, you may want to reconsider. Sounds pretty nasty. Reporting live tonight, I'm Ashley Kozakowski, WECT News. Now, when you go to the beach, this isn't what you expect to find. Take a look at this. Hundreds of dead fish covering the shore, and this is exactly what people in Polly's Island woke up to this morning. We came down to the beach for the day just to have a you know, nice day on the beach, smell this fish smell. Came down to look for shells and all these fish. Dead. Um, it's like really weird. Like, I don't know what could have caused it. That's exactly how many people who live on Polly's Island felt as they looked at the shoreline. Hundreds of dead menhaden fish stretching a mile and a half long. And Polly's Island isn't the first place this week to see the dead menhaden fish on their shore. We were called earlier uh, from somebody from Hopkaw, which is a marine education institute, and they had said that they had an issue yesterday with uh, lots of fish washing up on the beach down near Debedu. Fanning added that events like today's happen from time to time. Last year, an influx of starfish were found on the same beaches. It's a shame. I don't know what's causing it. It may be confusing to the people who live nearby, but Fanning says the state is looking into what may have killed the fish. DHEC and DNR visited the area today and took water samples. No results were available, but experts think a lack of oxygen in the ocean is what caused the dead menhaden to wash ashore. Dr. Dan Hitchcock says that the fish fell victim because they are more prone to feel the effects of the loss of oxygenated water. And when it's one species like that, uh, the species is menhaden, mm -hmm. that's all over the beach, uh, they, they are usually, that's usually indicative of a, a, a low dissolved oxygen situation because they tend to be more um, fragile. So Mother Nature will correct us, they'll wash the fish back out. Now, Polly's Island police say there aren't any plans to clean up the fish that washed ashore today. Instead, they're just going to let the seagulls and the tide clear the sand. In Polly's Island tonight, Ken Baker, WMBF News.